ITF requirement 8.5.1.5 total productive maintenance includes a requirement related to effective spare part management for the equipment needed to produce conforming parts at the right volume. It also states that measures such as mean time between failure and mean time to repair may be used to help determine the effectiveness of the maintenance process, including spare part management. Let's watch this video filmed at Jaguar Land Rover engine plant in the UK and see what we can learn from how this organization tries to address these requirements effectively within their quality management system. Dan, I noticed this um, board behind the yeah. um, leak test machine. Can you just explain a little bit about what this is? Yeah, so we have our critical spares and this is to minimise any lost time between breakdowns. Okay. So we can just access the part quickly. Okay. Yeah, so again, that helps with your OEE, your overall equipment effectiveness. Yeah. So we track mean time between failures and mean time to repair. So that should help our, our metric system. Brilliant, thank you. So Niall, what were some of the key observations from this video? Um, well, certainly the visualisation of the management of spare parts was, was impressive. So rather than being hidden away in a kind of dusty central store area, the spare parts um, that are, are needed, deemed to be uh, key, were kept close to the machine in a very organised way. And you could see how that will be really beneficial when it comes back to measuring OEE, for example, so having the parts close to hand. Yeah, so there's definite benefits in that. Devon, what are some of the potential risks within this approach? You can see the benefits are linked to trying to reduce the MTTR by having a relevant spare part close to the machine. While MTTR is not mandated by IATF 16949, it's always a good indicator of the effectiveness of the spare part management process. Uh, the risks are that unless the localization is well managed, it could easily get out of control. Yeah, and certainly I've seen that in some organizations. Now, how could an organization then go about reducing the risks related to this? So again, it's essential to have clearly defined responsibilities for maintaining the spare parts. In a fully structured TPM program, this could be developed devolved to local level to the operator or technician. Also, for this to work effectively, there needs to be an effective stock replenishment process. Okay, thank you. So let's summarise. Whereas IETF 16949 requirement defines availability of spare parts is a requirement, obviously the standard doesn't say how an organization has to do that. This could be done by maintaining spare parts in a central storage area or devolving locally to the shop floor or even managed by an outsourced supplier. But the outsourced supplier would, would need to be given clear performance target regarding availability. Whatever system is used, the effectiveness needs to be monitored. This could be done by using indicators such as mean time to repair.